if a family member was having a heart attack, of course you would call 911. But what about stroke cases like the recent close calls with Bo Biden or Brett Michaels? A new study found that many do not call 911 and instead drive the victim to the hospital themselves, a delay that can lead to irreversible brain damage or even death. Joining us now with life-saving information you should know about strokes, the director of the St. Luke's Roosevelt Stroke Center here in Manhattan, Dr. Carolyn Brockington. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, first help us understand what people experience when they go through a stroke. Certainly. A stroke is an injury to the brain, so it's caused from an interruption of blood flow. If not enough blood gets to the brain, you develop symptoms, and they're usually very sudden. Who's most at risk for this? Well, the interesting thing is everyone's at risk for stroke, really? right? But the incidence, meaning the risk increases as someone gets older because of the risk factors, high blood pressure, diabetes, et cetera. Mm -hmm. In fact, the incidence of stroke doubles every decade over the age of 55. Okay, so to know if you're having a stroke, let's go through some of the symptoms. Because sure. uh, there are five, indeed, that you need to know about. One, numbness in the face, arm, or leg. Trouble speaking, difficulty walking, trouble with vision, severe headache. Now, some people may see that and say, I've had a few of those, mm -hmm. how do you know if it's indeed a stroke? Well, usually the symptoms are very sudden, right? This isn't something over days and months and weeks. This is over seconds to minutes. And so many times it's severe. All of a sudden you can't move your arm. Your face may drag. You might have difficulty garbled speech. You might have difficulty understanding what someone's saying to you. So all of a sudden, sudden like that, it's a concern about that it's a stroke. And time is truly of the uh -huh. essence. How much time do you have between when you first get the symptoms mm -hmm. and when you actually need to get that help before it's just irreversible? Well, we say in stroke treatment, time is brain, right? Every second that ticks by, the brain's not getting enough blood flow, so you could have permanent injury. Mm -hmm. So you need to go in right away. It's not a time to call your doctor, look things up in the internet. It's time to call 911, get to the closest emergency room for treatment. So is that study correct when it says don't drive the person to the hospital? That's right. 911 is appropriate because there are things that they do on the way to the hospital, et cetera, to try to stabilize things as well. So it's very important to get to the hospital immediately. We've heard about a lot of people having this, including uh, the vice president's son, Bo mm -hmm. Biden. A mild stroke, mm -hmm. only 41 years old. Uh, does this happen to people who are seemingly young and healthy? You know, everybody's surprised because he was so young, but it's not unusual that someone young has a stroke. We really look for different things when people are younger. Sometimes people have a problem with their artery, an injury to the artery, which is the blood vessel that brings blood to the brain. Sometimes a problem with the heart, sometimes a blood clotting problem. So there are a lot of different things that might produce it when people are younger, maybe less than 55. I found this really interesting that by going to, say, the chiropractor or maybe even doing yoga, that could possibly be the onset or spark a stroke? Well, again, because if you cause an injury to the blood vessel, not allowing enough blood to get to the brain, that can cause a problem. So. But you're not advising people not to do no, their no, yoga, no, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. You have to have exercise. But, you know, you need to know that if you develop these symptoms, certainly while doing something like that, there's a concern. And certainly it should be checked out. No doubt. Uh, very good information, life-saving information. Doctor, thank you so much thank for your you time for today. Me. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.